Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another weekly video. And uh, I got a pile of stuff here <laughs> to show you, so let's just get right into it. Um, so basically, first thing I'm going to show you real quick is this really cool beetle um, with a little trailer. It's pretty sweet. This is, I think is like 143rd scale, I'm not sure, it doesn't say, but this is a Shuko. Um, this was, I got this from uh, Paul Wooten really cool the trailer opens up the trailer is actually all metal it's got rubber tires um not my scale what i collect coca-cola by the way as well doors open on this beetle the details are just awesome uh but anyway really cool piece just wanted to show that to you um i cracked that open while facetiming with mr lamar fashion so we read the piece on that one pretty fun all right so anyway what did i find this week uh yesterday i did find some track day cars there were only two left hanging on the pegs, though. Uh, this Porsche, which I love this casting. So I picked up two of those, and I picked up two of these. The rest of the series was not there. So hopefully they reorder, and I'll be able to find the rest of that series. Definitely want uh, two, um, two full sets, one loose and one carded on that one, which I've been doing with all the car cultures so far uh, this year. Um, I got lucky and found some 2017 stuff out of a shipper at uh, Walmart, or not Walmart, sorry, Target, uh, shipper at Target, got some 2017 models, of course picked up the Gasser, picked up the new Ford Raptor, uh, new color of that, picked up the Little Red Express truck, uh, picked up the Charger, Fast and the Furious, picked up that Warthog thing from Halo, another new model, uh, picked up regular T-Hunt, the Volkswagen Golf MK7, this was the this is the first time this has been in the main line, this was in the Euro style series, um, picked up Kit, and I picked up a couple of these, I've already taken one apart, and you can guess what I'm going to do with the front there, um, picked up the new Mustang, it's going kind of fast because there's a lot of stuff to show you, picked up couple of these Firebirds, awesome stuff, picked up the Arista Rat, of course that's a new model, picked up a regular Chevy 2, picked up a Super Chevy 2, picked up another Super Chevy 2, so yeah, lucky and found two of these, and this honestly is a gorgeous Super, um, one of these Supers is already traded, and I'm keeping one, so not for trade on those, sorry guys. Um, so let me set, set this stuff over there. All right, so then I picked up uh, from my buddy Chuck. He had a bunch of stuff set aside for me. And um, I sold one of my six-lane raceways on eBay and had a little bit of fun money. So I was able to go over there and, and pick up that stuff. And I'll show that to you quick. Um, just some cool things. I uh, picked up this uh, RLC Firebird. This is just a sweet one. I already have one of these loose, and I have one carded, and I got a third one. Um, that's getting traded to my buddy Lamar. Uh, this is just awesome. This one is gorgeous. I'm going to take this one out of the protector. Um, these Neo Classics aren't very limited. They're um, 11,000 of them are made, but they're just beautiful pieces. You know, metal on metal. The paint on this is just sick. This car just looks just awesome. So if you're a if you're a Pontiac Firebird fan, this is this is a great casting for you to pick up. So that's pretty cool. Got that. Um, I picked up this Camaro Ultra Hot. That's pretty nice. I really love this casting, the '67 Camaro with the opening hood. That's really sweet. Uh, got this Viper that I needed carded. Clover cars. Uh, picked up another one of these hearses, uh, which I didn't bring it out, but I did put a green light in the back of one of these for somebody this weekend. Um, it looks pretty cool. I posted one picture to the Instagram. Uh, 2007 Holiday Rods Highway Hauler. That's a pretty sweet one. Super heavy. Metal base version. Really nice. Uh, picked up Corvette C6R. 
gift series. I just thought this would look pretty cool. Love those wheels. Um, picked up this cool Firebird. This is a Hot Wheels 100% casting. California Custom. Um, pretty sweet. Probably crack this one open. Um, if I can figure out how to get into this thing. But not on camera here. And then this one's really awesome. Picked up this Porsche 917 in uh, the older Real Rider series. Just a sweet model. Really glad to have that one. It's a really cool color blue. Uh, the packaging's a bit scuffed up, so I may open it up. It's not right now. We don't have time for it. Um, so there's that. So that was from my buddy Chuck, that grouping of, uh, of items. Um, then I went to uh, Toys R Us this weekend and got one of these Forza sets. And uh, we're going to open that up quick just to show you what's inside here. So... And spoiler alert, it's kind of disappointing, honestly. Um, it is really cool that you can buy the whole set in a box. Don't get me wrong, and that is $24.99. I mean, it, really, it saves you a little bit of money from buying them individually from Walmart. Um, but we'll open up the box here. And this is how they're packed in there. Just like that. Now, that's the part that kind of stinks. I wish if it was a box that you'd be able to display it without... You know, opening the box really like you'd be like a cover, and you could see the cars sitting inside of here instead of them all individually packaged. But then again, it's pretty cool to be able to just get the whole series. That one's sweet. You know, just be able to get the whole series on mint cards. Oh man, yeah, this set is a winner for sure. Um, you know, add a crack, just one, one at a time. You know, you just get the whole series. You don't have to worry about hunting around too much. If you can find this box, you got them all. So, really digging this series. Might like this one a little bit better than the Gran Turismo series. But maybe I'm biased because I'm an Xboxer and not a PS, uh, not a PlayStation guy. So, uh, there's that. And I've played my definite fair share of Forza. So there are all those. I'll probably crack a couple of those. I'll probably pick up a couple singles to have loose. I don't know if I'm going to get the whole set to have loose. I mean, if I was going to, I could have just bought it when I was there. There was a few of them there. I ended up uh, picking up one, and then they took them off the shelf, actually, because they're, they don't come out till October 30th. So October 30th, you should be able to find those. All right, so now we got to get booking on the last of this. Now, I found um, this. This was at my buddy Bob's house. He's having a Hot Wheels sale. So I picked up this uh, Ford GT treasure hunt, this basic treasure hunt. Picked up this cool Matchbox Premier Collection, 57 T-Bird. I just think that looks pretty awesome. And uh, packaging is pretty wrapped on this one. So we got to crack it. We haven't freed the piece on anything yet. So there's that. It comes with a little box. Who cares about that, really? And then here is the car. The wheels are awesome. So that's a really cool piece right there. Really neat. Got some loose cars. Got a Baja Breaker from him. Got a couple of Jaguar XJ220s, which I'm kind of making a run at that casting. I just like this casting. I remember it from childhood. Um, had a couple of them in silver with Ultra Hots when I was a kid. Picked up a couple Corvette Stingrays. I'm not sure if these are from the Classic Series or what they're from, but they got the Spectre Flame paint. There's that one and this one. Either from Classics or Sense 68 maybe, or one of those series. So if anybody knows, let me know. Um, a couple more Lucy's from the Monopoly set, Johnny Lightning's. Got this sweet VW bus. That's pretty neat. Um, then got two GMC vans. We got the Electric Company. This kind of looks cool on the vans, because, you know, van could be an electrical com company's uh, vehicle. Uh, you know, railroad, really nicely detailed. They have plastic tires for those cool rims. So there's that, and then we still got a little bit more here left. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, some Matchbox picked up. This is on a trash card. So we'll just open it right away. This is a Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon. Mission Satellite, top secret. 
pretty cool. It's got a little trailer hitch on it. It's a neat matchbox. Got some suspension. Pretty sweet. Uh, I got this matchbox uh, Chevy Tahoe. That's pretty cool. It says uh, City of Cleveland, Ohio. Pretty cool. Uh, I've got this Matchbox uh, Alfa Romeo 155, and this one's all trashed. This is a new model from 1997. I'm going to pull it out. It's kind of neat. Pretty cool car. All right, just a few more here. Um, MGF. That's pretty cool. I'm going to save time and not crack it here. Ford Transit. That's a really nice van. That's pretty cool. Um, picked up a couple of Mercedes 380 SELs. And he didn't really have too much to buy because it's the end of summer for him and he sells at car shows all summer and doesn't get restocked until probably around spring. So these are kind of everybody's left behind, sort of. But this is a really nice one. Pick that up. I have that loose. Had a bunch of this casting when I was a kid. Like that. Got that guy. Got a Viper. It turns out I don't need. Picked up one Johnny Lightning uh, Dragster. This is the only one of this he had left. So picked up one of these. Uh, picked up a couple of white cool combis. Because I actually didn't have this variation of the cool combi. And I like this casting. Uh, picked up a couple of Lexus SC400s. Two different variations of that. Had that one when I was a little kid, too. Um, BMW 850i. Kind of cool. And then uh, this 55 Chevy. Uh, Ford Expedition. Maybe Camo. And the Sweet Premier Collection Camaro. So there you go. We're running 12 minutes. So, yeah. I got a bunch of stuff again this week pile of things so next week's probably not going to be as crazy as this but hopefully i get it lucky again maybe find a couple more supers that would be awesome um that was really sweet i just was in the right place at the right time i was there the employee was stocking the shipper at the time i was there and it wasn't wasn't even in the morning or anything so it was in, late in the afternoon so got really lucky on that one um anyway thanks for sticking with me for this video you guys have a great week um i'm going to a pumpkin carving party today so that's pretty exciting. Um, maybe if I carve something good, I'll post a picture to Instagram. We'll see. Uh, have a great day.